and welcome to my channel. My name's Layla and this channel is aimed mostly at uh, my friends so if you've accidentally stumbled across this I'm really sorry but hi stick around and uh, you can rate or slate me later. My aim is to do a few makeup tutorials and a few kind of hair tips and things uh, mainly because my friends have asked me to do a few of these so I'm not a professional in any way shape or form I'm just someone who likes to mess around with hair makeup that sort of thing so today I've been asked for a basic eye tutorial mascara eyeshadow eyeliner so uh, let's just get this underway um, step one is to make sure your hair is out of your face as you can see my hair is keeps falling in front of my face and makes me look like cousin it which is super attractive. Uh, so the first thing to do is to get that out of your way. And I happen to have a pair of really handy cat ears, which holds my hair out of my face when I'm doing my makeup. So if you have a pair of cat ears, put your cat ears on. If not, tie it back, whatever works for you. Um, but yeah, just keep it out of your face, otherwise it's gonna constantly be getting in your eye when you're trying to do your makeup, and there is nothing worse than that. So. The next thing to do is, one of the most important things that I feel to do, is to get yourself some primer. Now primer is basically a base for your eyeshadow to sit on, and I mean I only started using primer maybe a year, year and a half ago, but it has completely changed my makeup game 100%. It just helps it to stay on longer, it helps it to look a bit more even if you have some fine lines, and it, it just makes it work a little bit better. One of my favourite primers is by Urban Decay. It's their primer potion and it's just it's amazing for keeping your eyeshadow on. So all you do is you take a little bit of it, you apply it onto the lid, not too much, it doesn't have to look neat, and then just dab it in with your fingers just so that it gets right in there. I kind of leave it for about 30 seconds or so to, just to set in before I apply any eyeshadow and for me it just because I've got kind of oily combination skin I find that things kind of slide off me a bit so face primer eyeshadow primer has been a lifesaver for me personally so I always feel that my makeup goes on a bit better with brushes as well uh, I know a lot of people tend to use their fingers um, which is fine 100% if that's your thing you can do that but for me I feel, if, especially if you're going to do a few of the more difficult techniques, using a brush is a lot better, slightly more hygienic as well, and it's it's a lot better, I feel, for, for doing some more complicated things. But yeah, that's just my opinion. <laughs> so today I'll be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills, one of my favourite palettes. I just love her products all together. I find that they're quite consistent, they're very creamy, they last long, so she is one of my favourite brands to use. What I like to do when I'm doing any eyeshadow, whether it's just a simple look like today's, or whether or not it's a more complicated look, is I like to put down a base colour. Now in this palette, as you can see, um, my base palette colour is um, buttery. Uh, as you can see it's hit the pan that's how much I love it it's very close to my natural skin tone so for me I think that it's really good so I just honestly I just apply that on the lid with the brush that comes with the palette I have a whole heap of brushes but for today I'm just gonna use this one that comes with the palette it's a double-ended brush and it's, it's actually really helpful, it's really soft, it's not kind of hard and sometimes with some palettes I find that they, the brushes that they supply aren't very good, I find they're quite hard and you're kind of jabbing yourself in the eye going ow, why, why, so many whys but this one is, is quite nice, it's got kind of a flatter end for applying the shadow and then a nice fluffy one for, for buffering I will however be using the fluffy one to do my colour today because I'm not using multiple colours, I'm only using one. So after applying the base colour, you're going to choose a more subtle colour. Um, my favourite one in this palette to do subtle with is called Dusty Rose. It's like a beigey, pinky shade. I really, really like it. It goes on really, I just, I just love the shadows, they go on so easy. 
and you just honestly from the corner all the way out just fan it out and there you go super simple very easy just a little bit for a day look really simple so after applying your base color well your primer base color your the color that you want for the day I like to then go for a little bit of mascara I know quite a few people who wear eyeshadows but don't wear mascara or they just wear eyeliner no mascara or they just wear mascara no eyeshadow no eyeliner whatever you, you feel comfortable with is is you know it's fine that's the whole point of makeup it's fun it's experimental it's it's so that you can try different new things out so just do whatever you feel comfortable but for me for just like a simple look if I didn't want to put too much effort in it's just a day look I would just have my eyeshadow and my mascara and the mascara that I'm loving at the moment is by Benefit it's called Their Real it's got quite a spiky applicator um, but I love it because it gives me a really fanned out defined look. I'm quite lucky in that I've got reasonably long eyelashes anyway. I mean, they're not super long. I, I mean, I wish, you know, like giraffe eyes, um, but they are reasonably long and they fan out really well with this brush. I always start at sort of the edges of my eyes and then work my way into the inner corner. I always do my top lashes before I do my bottom lashes just because in the event that you poke yourself in the eye you're gonna start crying at least then it won't ruin your bottom lashes if you've already done them but it's just really a kind of top to bottom out to in and that way you'll you give yourself a fuller eye look so if you can see the difference there with mascara without mascara and I just really love that it gives that really fanned out look I don't particularly like the clumpy eye look but that's just on me some people look fantastic with it some people look amazing but because I've got quite hooded eyes I find that if I have clumpy mascara I end up looking like I'm wandering around blind in some weird kind of snowstorm um, I look pretty terrible with it which is really sad um but you know I kind of got what I like to call puffy hooded eyes because they're not completely hooded but um they're not they're not great for trying to show off <laughs> eyeshadow colors and styles and things but you know they do the job <laughs> from the out and work your way in And there we go, mascara and eyeshadow done. So there we go, it's a really super simple day look. That's it, that's honestly it. Primer, base color, eyeshadow. Um, my friend did ask about eyeliner. She's had a bit of problems with eyeliner and wing liner is, it is difficult. It is super difficult to get perfect all the time. So I thought I'd start off as this is a, my first tutorial and, um, Kind of a first try makeup look for for real true beginners who have never touched makeup before in their lives um i will do waterline eyeliner rather than winged liner we can go on to wing liner in in later videos if i get a chance to do later videos um so we're going to try doing that now now if i'm going to do eyeliner before i put on any makeup whatsoever what i tend to do is i get eye drops the little refresh eye drops and put them in my eyes before I put on any makeup whatsoever just in case your eyes get dry or if you tend to have quite dry eyes I'm one of those creepy people who sleeps with their eyes open so my eyes are usually quite dry so the second I put anything on them they automatically water up and then obviously you're just going to ruin anything that you've got going on so basically I put in some eye drops first then I apply eyeshadow mascara and then I do the eyeliner what you have to remember when you are doing your eyeliner um, is that the skin around your eyes is very sensitive. It's it's very soft, it's very supple, but it, it will 
you know, I mean, it could take a beating, but it's quite, I mean, mine are all tired and hideous from years of lack of sleep, but <laughs> it's, it, you just need to be careful with it when you're doing it. So the best thing to do is not to tug on it, to pull on it or anything like that. What I like to use when I'm applying my eyeliner is this little beauty. It's called a beauty blender. Um, those of you who have accidentally stumbled on this because you're looking for other makeup tutorials will of course know about this. Those of you who are true blue beginners don't know anything about makeup whatsoever. Um, this is a beauty blender, they're all the rage and actually uh, I think they're fantastic. For someone who's got oily combination skin, when I use this with my liquid foundation and my concealer, it just really gives me a flawless finish, which is what I love, which is what I want. But it's also super helpful for when you're trying to do your waterline, just to pull like boop and pull your waterline down uh, just a smidge so that you can get your eyeliner on. Today I'm going to be using Queen Attitude Coal Liner by Maybelline. There we go. Um, it's a really creamy, easy to go on eyeliner. It works really, really well. You don't need to be like pressing it really hard into your eyes to get the product in there. So let's go like this. So, because it goes on so easily and it is so creamy, it does tend to be a little bit messy. So you might want to look for a more a gel eyeliner than a coal eyeliner. But I do love it. It's super black. It goes on super easy. It's just it can get a little bit messy and it's not quite as neat as I would like it to be. But there you go. That is how I do my eyeliner. So this is my super simple eye look for complete beginners. You've never touched makeup before, you've never done it before, and you just, you want something that is truly the basics. <laughs> um, to recap, primer is key if you're going to use it, especially if you've got oily combination skin like mine. Um, you know, brushes, they apply products more evenly and they're, they're quite easy to use once you've used them a couple of times. Um, and always treat your eyes with the utmost care. They are sensitive. You don't want to be jabbing stuff in there and you don't want to be pulling and tugging at the skin around it. So yeah, that's that's it. Um, thank you for viewing this video, even if it was purely by accident. Uh, if you liked it, please, you know, uh, hit like and subscribe. Um, I will put full details of all the products I've used in the description box, so that will help you. Um, but yeah, until next time, thank you and bye.